Hey y'all, Melissa here with you today, and today's project is a pillowcase. This is for your bed, and it fits a standard size pillow, and the nice thing about this is, I'm gonna show you how to finish it so that all of the raw edges are enclosed, no raw edges exposed, and it's a very easy project for beginners. So if you got a new sewing machine recently, this is a great project to get you started. You're going to need some quilting cotton, about a yard and a half of the main fabric, and then you're going to want a third of a yard of the contrast fabric for the cuff, and then I'm going to show you how to cut all this out and stitch it up. Besides your sewing machine with needles and threads, here are the supplies you will need. You'll need fabric scissors, a measuring tape, and pins. And your fabric, you're going to be cutting for the main part of the pillow. You want it to be 42 inches wide total by 29 inches tall. Now, if you're buying quilting cotton fabric, that is generally about 44 to 45 inches wide. And after I washed my quilting cotton, cotton it shrunk a little bit so all I had to do to get to 42 inches was cut off the selvage edge and let me give you a little tip for cutting here this is for the cuff of the pillowcase and we're going to want this to be 9 inches by 42 inches so if I measure out 21 inches here with my fabric folded You'll see, I just have to cut off the selvage here as well and I get to that 21 inches. Make sure that you pre-wash your fabric because it might shrink a little bit like mine did. So I'm gonna cut off this selvage edge here. And then I want my fabric to be nine inches tall. So I'm going to start on this selvage edge and I'm going to measure up nine inches I'm going to make a little snip there and notice that I've got this folded where the edges are touching each other I'm going to come I'm going to measure nine inches again kind of mark it with my pin there and I'm just going to cut towards that nine. Once you have a little bit of fabric, it can be easier to then go ahead and fold. And again, I am matching, making sure these raw edges match. And then I use my fabric as a guide to cut. And if you'd like, you can also double check that with your measuring tape. So there we go. Here's my nine inch by 42 inch piece. And now I'm ready to start putting these pieces of fabric together. So what I wanna do, I wanna take the 42 inch long side And I want to put it right sides together with the 42 inch long side of my cuff. I want to make sure I'm matching my raw edge here all the way down. And just to be safe, I'm also going to put a few pins. Now I'm not going to put a ton of pins because we're going to be rolling this up and using the burrito method to make sure all these edges are finished inside. But enough that this won't come apart. These will, edges will stay matched. Okay, I want to open this up and then I want to take my other end of the fabric and I want to roll it up this is why it's called the burrito method. And I want to roll it up until I can see that edge that I pinned. Then I want to fold my whole pillowcase so that all that outer fabric is contained inside. And now I have my cuff fabric right sides together with the other side of the cuff fabric. And I'm 
I'm going to add pins. This time I'm going to add some more pins because I'm going to be sewing this seam. And as you pin, check that you've got all three layers matched up on the edge there. All right, now I'm going to sew down this whole edge. I want to make sure I'm not sewing this rolled up burrito fabric on the inside. I just want to make sure that I'm sewing these three edges together. And I want to use a half inch seam allowance. Most sewing machines have markings on them so that you can figure out um, how far away from the needle your edge of the fabric needs to be for a particular seam allowance. So if you're not sure on your machine, you can go ahead and you can measure from your needle over a half inch and see where that lines up on your machine. Once you've got this whole bibble roll sewed, we're going to turn this right side out. So go to one end and just start pulling your inner fabric out and turning this. And what you should have when you're done, kind of like magic, is you'll have this cuff sewn on the edge and all the raw edges are inside. That's the magic of doing this as a burrito. So next, we're going to be sewing the back and one of the side seams, and that will make this a pillowcase. And the technique I'm going to show you is called a French seam, and it's going to be stitched twice, and that will also enclose all our raw edges inside. So what you want to do first is you're going to fold your pillowcase wrong sides together. Okay, so now it kind of looks like a pillowcase. Make sure you've evened up all your edges. And then we're going to the bottom here, and you can add a few pins, and we're going to sew across the bottom. This time we're only using a one quarter inch seam. So take this over to the machine, and we're sewing a very narrow seam here. Okay, so this is sewn wrong sides together, and you can see all this little frame threads here. That's what we're going to enclose inside this seam. And the way we're going to do this is we are going to turn this where it's right sides together. Make sure to really poke that little corner out. And then you kind of want to flatten and finger press, or you can even get your iron. But press this edge so that there's no fabric like folded to the inside here. Make sure you're right on that seam. And then we're going to take it over to the machine, and this time we're sewing a 3 8 inch seam. And when I bring this over here and we open it out, you can see here's the seam and we don't have any more of those frayed raw edges hanging out of it. See, nice and pretty and enclosed. And on the inside, we've got all those raw edges enclosed as well. So we're going to do the same thing on this long edge. And when you are pinning this edge, it's really important to make sure that you pin your cuffs so that they line up perfectly. I like to stab my pin like precisely through that stitching line and then into the stitching line on the opposite side to make sure these are really lined up well. Make sure you really press out that seam at the other edge as well. Take this over to the sewing machine and we're doing that one quarter inch seam allowance stitching wrong sides together. And then just like we did on the bottom, we're going to turn this wrong side out. 
work that corner out. Press this seam, just finger press it. If your fabric is really stubborn, go ahead and use an iron to press your seam out. I like to add a pin at the cuff on this side as well, just to make sure everything stays lined up, even though it's already stitched. And then over to the machine with a 3 8 inch seam. And right here at the end, I am going to back stitch a few stitches. And then I'm going to cut my threads there. And turn my pillowcase right side out. Got a couple of threads in this corner too that I'm going to trim. But here we go. Here is my lovely pillowcase. And I've got all the raw edges enclosed inside those seams for a very nice, neat finish. And this was a simple project, so it's great for beginners to learn on. And check out this playlist for more beginner sewing projects and answers to beginner questions like, how do I choose a sewing needle? I've got all of those in that playlist.